Hi everyone, so this is an introduction to the website Padlet. Now, just so you know, there is an app that you can get for Windows 10 on Padlet. I think the functionality and interface is pretty much the same. It's just a matter of, are you okay being online versus the, the Padlet version or the uh, kind of full bore desktop app version. But I think pretty much you're seeing the same thing. Now, Padlet is a website that's got a lot of uh, function and functionality. However, there is, of course, the dreaded freemium versus versus premium options. And you'll see uh, they'll from time to time ask you to upgrade. Now, the upgrade is eight dollars a month, which if you add that up, gets to be pretty pricey, in my humble opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, however, with the freemium version, you get three Padlets, and we'll kind of actually talk about what they are. Again, many of you, if not all of you, have probably already experienced what Padlet is. But you can get three Padlets, and the good news is, is you could um, just kind of rotate the Padlets or use these Padlets on a on a regular basis. So there you have it. So here's the dashboard. I've signed in, and I've signed in using my credentials, my Office 365 credentials. That's always my recommendation because why remember one more username and password if you have the option of doing that. Um, just so you know, if you click on your profile and go to your profile up here, if you click on your profile picture and click profile, you'll see your uh, kind of Padlet, uh, you know, kind of shareable link if you wanted to share your Padlet dashboard with other people, if you wanted people to kind of follow you or know who you are, and you'll also see your username, which in my case is AWLAC4, and my kind of pad, Padlet uh, kind of username is padlet.com slash AWLAC4. Turns out there's three other AWLACs. Don't know if I want to know them, but there you have it. So that in a nutshell is kind of your dashboard. You can, of course, edit your profile. And just so you know, if you click the edit profile button, there is a little checkoff for are you a teacher? So if you click that button, I don't know that that gives you any extras. I don't I haven't seen it, but um, just so you know, you can click that and say you're a teacher. That's kind of helpful. And then once you've done that, let me just, we'll just go back to the main area here again, this main dashboard. To get yourself, if you're not familiar with Padlet, here's what we're going to do for our kind of first activity. So when you go to the main page of Padlet, I just click this up here at the left. There's make a Padlet, which we're going to do. We're going to join a Padlet. We can do that. Well, yeah, we can do that. And then actually, that's a great activity idea. And then the, what I want you to do right now is click the gallery. And when you click the gallery, you'll see there's a whole bunch of options here. Again, kind of just use your your peepers and look through to see what uh, may jump out at you as an interesting Padlet. These have been shared, publicly shared. You can, of course, make yours private so the world doesn't see them. But let's just, I'm going to look at this Harry Potter quiz. This looks different. Who doesn't love Harry Potter? Maybe there's some people that do. So this is a Harry Potter quiz that someone has shared out. And in order to complete this step, what you're going to do is just whatever Padlet you choose from the gallery, just click share, copy the link, and then you're going to go back to the form and paste that link to complete this step. So I hope that was easy enough. And we'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.